Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV, SHOT Show 2024. One of the last videos that we're doing from the show, it's Friday, talking about the new Huxworks rimfire can and uh, suppressor sauce? That's that's it. Is it like barbecue? Uh, it is, it's all natural, you can eat it if you want to. It's not gonna taste very good. Um, so yeah, so we've been uh, working on this can for a couple years. Um, this is our Flow 22 tie. So it's a 3D printed grade five titanium, five and a half inches long, uh, weighing in at 3.9 ounces, full auto rated for 22, 22 Magnum and 5.7. Um, so when you think about 22 cans, you know they run dirty because of the lead and all that other stuff. And so this is a completely sealed can, it's not served serviceable, if you will. And so why would somebody ever make a non-serviceable 22 can? Sounds kind of stupid. That's what I first thought right. as well. But um, joking aside, so with our 22 can, we've uh, we've noticed this is the quietest can we've ever made. But um, in order to clean it, we uh, we have this new cleaning kit called uh, suppressor sauce. So this is pre-production uh, packaging. But basically, you'll have a part A and part B. Um, it will come with a, a mixed tube and a soak tube. So the way this works um, from a cleaning standpoint, this is a proprietary uh, formula that we came up with in-house. And so the nice thing about it um, in a powdered form, as far as for shipping, storing, all that, up, uh, all that stuff, it's nice and easy. But the way it works is that part A is going to be your carbon uh, remover, carbon cleaner, and part B is gonna be your heavy metals. So copper, lead, and all that stuff. So all you do is you take your part A um, to start the cleaning process, pour it in the mix tube, it'll come with these metal tong things and you just stir it up. It's very important to get uh, the, the right, um, to not go over the fill line because you want, don't want to dilute it too much, uh, but mix it up really good. And so then you just put your suppressor nose down and the, the soak tube, pour it in there, and then you walk away. And so you come back two hours or later, you can do it overnight. The longer you do it, the better it's gonna work. Um, then you're just gonna take the little tongs, stick it in that guy, and then pull it out. Then just rinse this out under um, you know, the sink. You can go out and uh, rinse it out with a hose. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna wanna dispose the liquid according to your local guidelines. Uh, and then you do the same thing with the part B. And so you mix the part B in there, fill it up with water and, uh, and repeat. And so we did a fouling test of 5,000 rounds uh, with this. And we found that, uh, and the easiest way to, uh, and then we cut it in half. And so we clean one side and left the other, um, you know, un unclean. And the clean side looked basically brand new. And so not only for our suppressors, but for anybody's suppressors, especially on, on removable baffles or anything serviceable where you're sitting there and you're trying to do ultra, ultrasonic or, you know, all different mediums of, of cleaning, this will actually take all that um, scrubbing away mm -hmm. or, or the need for scrubbing and picking away. So it, it, this is a truly revolutionary thing for suppressors, not just ours, but for pretty much anything out there in the world. Have you had the pleasure of cleaning a 22 can? Uh, yeah, I have, and it sucks. Like, yeah. absolutely hate it. So I, I think this sounds like uh, a, a really great product. I myself personally might take a bath in suppressor sauce whenever I get back to my room at the Venetian because I'm feeling particularly unclean. Daryl, thank you so much for being on the program, guys. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more SHOT Show 2024.